Today marks the 10th anniversary of Bag Central Station at Phoenix Area Supermarkets, where you can recycle your shopping bags. But did you know you can also recycle bread bags, bubble wrap, stretch wrap, Ziploc bags, and dry cleaning bags? A good way to tell if it's recyclable is if the plastic stretches when you pull on it. Thank you so much for being here. My name is Ashley Schick, and on behalf of Bash's family of stores, I'd like to welcome you all this morning to celebrate the 10th anniversary of the BAG Central Station program. I'd first like to start by thanking all the organizations here today that have made BAG Central Station such a success over these last 10 years and say what an honor it is for the Bashes Family of Stores to be a part of this amazing group of leaders and community-minded organizations that are working to make an impact. So thank you all for your years of partnership. As an Arizona family owned and operated company, it is imperative for us to continue to be innovative and participate in programs that nurture Arizona and strive to keep our state vibrant and healthy and beautiful for future generations. As part of our longstanding commitment and pledge to serve the Arizona communities, we are committed to conserving energy, water and fuel, in addition, to extensive recycling, including not only plastic bags through the Bag Central Station program, but recycling everything from our metal bakery carts, even to our shop, bakery rack, excuse me, to our shopping carts. In fact, Bashes was the first Arizona grocer to focus on sustainability efforts by launching a cardboard recycling program more than 40 years ago. We have been a committed partner in this program since its inception and are proud to say that we're the first grocers to implement the program in all of our stores across the state. And still to this day, you can easily find the Bag Central Station logoed recycling receptacles at all of our locations. That includes our Basha stores, our Food City locations, and all of our AJ's Fine Foods across the state. For the last 10 years, our in-store collection numbers have continued to grow and on average, we collect 160,000 pounds of plastic bags. That comes up to 1.6 million pounds of plastic bags that would have otherwise made it into our landfill. We're also excited to share that 2017 was a record-breaking year for us where we collected over 190,000 pounds of plastic bags collected at our locations and recycled through the Central Bag Station program. So that really translates, as you see these bales up here, to one semi full of baled plastic bags every five weeks that we send out from our corporate office. We're confident that these numbers will continue to grow and we're committed to educating our customers and our members about the importance of this program. So thank you again for being here. We look forward to the continued years of partnership. And it's my pleasure to now introduce to you the City of Phoenix Deputy Public Works Director, Brandy Barrett. Brandy? Good morning, everyone. As Ashley said, my name is Brandy Barrett. I'm a Deputy Public Works Director with the City of Phoenix. Thank you so much for joining us here this morning in the official celebration of the 10 year anniversary of the Bag Central Station program. We especially want to give a really big thanks to our partners at Bashes um, and Food City for hosting us and for their participation in this very important program. Without their collaboration and without the collaboration of many other Phoenix retailers, this program simply wouldn't be possible. It's hard to believe that Bag Central Station is 10 years old already and that stores all over Phoenix are participating in this outstanding program. I'd now like to invite up to the stage our City Councilwoman, Kate Gallego. She represents our City Council District 8, and she's our Chair of the Sustainability, Housing, Efficiency, and Neighborhood Subcommittee. Please give her a warm welcome. Thank you, Brandy, and thank you to all of our Public Works team for your commitment to reducing, recycling, and reusing. We are trying to lead the way in the City of Phoenix, and we could not do it without great partners including those in the grocery industry. It is fabulous to celebrate a decade of Bag Central Station. I have the pleasure of chairing our sustainability subcommittee, as Brandy mentioned, and it's been wonderful to see all the innovation that we have coming out of Phoenix. It's one of our leading industries in the Valley. We have great companies that make innovative products, from building products to new ways to recycle and use fuel and we hope that this will continue to be part of Phoenix's green and sustainable future. 
it's great to see record-breaking years as well as to the cool products like the bird feeder that we have here and the bench made out of the plastic bags. They're finding new lives. Um, this, product, this project is also very important to us at the City of Phoenix since we operate a lot of recycling equipment and uh, different equipment to process uh, solid waste. And we were having a real problem with these bags getting stuck in it, causing significant damage to our very pricey equipment. So the more we can find a way to divert the better. Um, people would put, be putting plastic bags in our recycle bins with aluminum, cardboard, and others. Um, I actually lived with someone who said, well, it looks like it should be recyclable in those bins. And The Onion actually did a great article talking about things that should be recyclable in the traditional blue bins. These plastic bags are recyclable, just not in your plastic bins. And thank you to our partners who put out the Bag Central Station uh, collection facility so that there is a place that these can grow can go. Um, and I actually learned something new as part of this 10-year anniversary. I'm guilty of not recycling my bubble wrap, and I just learned today that you can put it, bring those to Bike Central, so I will do better myself. I hope that everyone learns a little bit of something from the 10-year anniversary and that we can continue as we march towards the 20th anniversary to set new records, come up with new innovative products for these uh, bags, and uh, build on our great record in the Valley of the Sun. Thank you so much for coming here to Marcus. Thank you so much, Councilwoman. Um, we really appreciate you coming out here today to celebrate this important event, but also for all of your commitment to sustainability in the city. And I really love what you said. I'm going to do better myself. I think we all have that opportunity um, as we learn more about the best ways to handle all these resources that we find in our solid waste stream. So Bag Central Station has proven to be not only successful in diverting soft or film plastics from our city's landfills, but also in cleaning up our city streets and the environment. When most people hear about soft plastics, they think about just plastic grocery bags. However, did you know that you can also recycle items like bread bags or these bags that you pick up your produce in from the grocery store, the bubble wrap as the councilwoman mentioned. Those can all come back here to the Bag Central Station program and be turned into these wonderful uh, products rather than ending up in our landfills or getting tangled up in our recycling facility machinery. For a full list of items that you can recycle through this program, please feel free to visit phoenix.gov slash recycle. So this type of plastic is important to recycle at the grocery store because, as the councilwoman mentioned, it cannot be put in our blue bins. Soft plastics tangle up in our recycling machinery and cause shutdowns every day. And that's why, that's one of the reasons why this program is so important and we really encourage everyone in Phoenix to take your soft plastics to the grocery store and recycle them through this really important program. Ultimately, Bag Central Station is one of our key um, roles in our Reimagine Phoenix initiative, which is really challenging us to strive towards improving our diversion to 40% by the year 2020. And we're going to accomplish this with a three-pronged approach, new and improved solid waste programs, expanding our educational outreach, and fostering public-private partnerships. And this program is a key example of how those public and private partnerships work uh, to really move the needle and make recycling these materials much more convenient for our residents. It also is supporting a circular economy by creating a pathway for soft plastics to be remanufactured into new plastic products. And that's really important. In April, we plan on expanding our educational outreach in this area by hosting a soft plastics recycling competition among Phoenix schools. So for two weeks, participating schools will gather as much of the soft plastics as they can and take them to their local Basha stores for weighing. At the end of those two weeks, we're gonna recognize the winner at our Earth Day weekend at Steel Indian School Park. And as the event approaches, we'll be sure to provide more information to the community. So on behalf of the City of Phoenix, I would personally like to recognize Bashes. Specifically today, we have here with us Telly Ann Dong, the Director of Retail Special Projects, Paul Harper, the Store Director, and of course you met Ashley earlier, she's the Director of Communications and Public Affairs. Also, um, the Arizona Food Marketing Alliance, Tim McCabe, the President, and his team, for their unwavering support and continued effort in making soft plastics recycling as easy as possible in Phoenix. Can we please have a round of applause for them? I'd also like to take a moment to recognize a couple of other of our partners who are here in the audience today, our partners at Keep Phoenix Beautiful and Recycle Bank. They help us meet our sustainability and reimagine Phoenix goals as well. And at this time, I would like to go ahead and welcome uh, AFMA President Tim McCabe to the stage. Thanks, Brandy, and uh, thanks, Councilmember Gallego. It's, uh, our organization represents the entire grocery industry here in Arizona, and we are really uh, thrilled about the fact to be 
a proud partner with both the City of Phoenix and Bashes. The City of Phoenix is truly a city that leads in all sustainability efforts throughout the U.S., not just plastic bags. In Bashes, who is the local retailer, they really set the bar for all sustainability efforts in our industry here in Arizona. There are several elements that go into making a program like this successful. First off, like Brandy had mentioned, education. We've had some education programs through the schools and they've been very successful with the City of Phoenix. Our biggest challenge was education and as Councilmember Gallego had recently mentioned, most people don't know what to do with their plastic bags or did not know what to do with their plastic bags. They thought they put them in the blue barrel, green barrel, what do I do with them? Now we know that more than 60% of consumers today know how to recycle plastic bags, but we still have a challenge ahead of us in the other 40% of making sure they all know how to properly recycle plastic bags. We know that when our consumers and our residents here in Phoenix, when they're told how to do it, they will do it and make the program successful. The other reason that makes a program like this successful is a commitment by the retailers, not just by bashes, but by all the retailers now in Arizona. Although the program started here in Phoenix, we now have over 612 supermarkets throughout the entire state of Arizona that are participating in Bag Central Station and are very proud to do it. We estimate, in just an estimate, that over 1,000 tons of plastic bags and plastic film are recycled here in Arizona every year. As, we, as mentioned earlier, a lot of this gets turned into playground equipment, and we even have retailers today that use and recycle plastic bags to make more plastic bags. And a lot of the plastic bags today go into this Trex decking that you see that's replacing a lot of wood in patios today. Also, if you're not aware, Bag Central Station won an EPA award in 2009 for an outstanding sustainability effort. That says a lot when EPA gives you an award for a program like this, and basically for the recycling of plastic bags. Our motto is simply, like Council Member Gallego said, reduce, reuse, recycle. Recycle is part of it, but what this program has led to is also the amount of plastic bags that have been reduced because of consumer awareness, the more reusable bags in today's market than there ever has been, and obviously the continued ongoing success of recycling the plastic bags. We really look forward to the future in helping all the retailers succeed and also have Phoenix achieve their goal of a 40% diversion rate from their landfills by 2020. Thank you for allowing us to be here. Thank you, Tim, so much for your partnership and for being here right alongside with us. Um, and yes, we are on to 40% by 2020 with a zero waste goal by 2050. We do have a lot of work to do and lots of opportunities. At this point, I'd love to introduce to you our Chief of Sustainability Officer for the City of Phoenix, Mark Hartman. Good morning and uh, thank you. Uh, it's a great day here at Basho's. This is great and beside me, we have a thousand pound bales of plastic. And it's really neat to kind of see and imagine you know, the polymers in this can be infinite recyclable, reused over and over again, or turned into really cool products. And so, uh, just looking at these and imagining why our society that's currently called a linear economy, where everything, we mine things from all around the world, we ship it somewhere, and then they market it to us, we buy it, we use it for three months, and then throw it in a landfill. It's just crazy how, why do we have that? And really to have this circular economy where we continue to use uh, these products over and over again, it's really exciting to kind of see uh, good examples of how this can happen. And uh, I think I'm gonna get some of this decking for my deck, you know? I really like those plastic bag decking, that's cool. Um, and uh, so uh, as sustainability, we look at a city of, really from a society of, uh, if you don't know where you're going, any road will take you there. But from a long term of what we wanna know as a city, where do we wanna be when we're, when we're all done? What does it look like? What would, it, what would it imagine if, if everything we purchased was actually 100% recyclable and we can actually get there? Where, where things, we set up systems in order to do that. And so uh, that's where uh, we wanna go. Our long-term goals would be a carbon neutral city, a zero waste city, uh, 
parks and, and buses in every neighborhood, available to every neighborhood. So really, uh, thank you. It's great to be here and celebrate, along with our many partners that are speaking here today. And so thank you and uh, for your efforts. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mark, and thank you for your leadership as we do embark down that path to creating and facilitating a circular economy right here in Phoenix. So I want to thank everyone for being here today and celebrating this really important milestone and doing your part to create a sustainable Phoenix for us and for our future and, and for all the, the folks to come after us. We look forward to many, many more years of this collaboration and continuing to work hard to hit our Reimagine Phoenix goals.